Into the lion's den. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> guys here we go happy thanksgiving to everybody out there guys we are very thankful today it looks like colder temps have returned it's starting to snow up in the mountains again. And believe it or not, I think we're gonna snowboard Alta today. For those of you who don't know about Alta, Alta is famous for its slogan, Alta is for skiers. In other words, they don't allow snowboarders. In fact, it's one of the only two, maybe three resorts now left in the whole United States that don't allow snowboarders. There's actually a huge case that went all the way to Supreme Court couple years ago where a bunch of pro snowboarders got together and tried to say it was unconstitutional to not allow snowboarders, especially because most of Alta, if not all of it, falls on national forest land. But in the end, Supreme Court didn't rule in favor of the snowboarders. But really that just means you can't get on the chairlift and ride it up. As I said, it's national forest land. So if you hike it, they really can't do anything about it, especially right now because they're not open yet. The biggest thing that's kept me from hiking out uh, until now is because I don't know the terrain that well. So I would prefer to go with somebody who's been there before. So shout out to Trace. He's been in the last two videos, I think. And he said he's gone up there without a split board. Most of the people I know say you need a split board. So that's a little bit less intimidating to know that somebody else has done it without a split board or without skins. As I said, colder temps have moved in. We do have some weather going on right now. There's supposed to be a lot more in the next couple days, actually, right in the middle of Thanksgiving and everything. I unfortunately will be out of town, but I will be back that weekend for the opening weekend at Snowbird, actually. That's gonna be sick, guys. Stay tuned for that. Wish us luck, guys. I've heard hiking Alta can be a bit steep and a bit challenging, but we're game for it. We've been training a lot this preseason. We've been hiking a lot, so. I'm excited, guys. I'm really excited. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could tell, but it's snowing. It's like right on the edge between snow and rain, but it's snow. It's very wet. In fact, my car says it's only 40 degrees right now. I'm not sure if that's really. Oh, okay, it's going down. It's dropping, but it's probably like right around freezing. As we head up into the canyon, that should turn into all snow, which is pretty dope. Hey, hey. what up, dude? I don't mind. Yeah, it's so cool. I'm Jenna, by the way. How's it going, Jenna? How you doing? I'm Dan. Nice to meet you. Guys don't mind being on YouTube, do you? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He just sees the lift. I think you guys, he sees the lift. We're at Alta. This is crazy. I feel like I'm in enemy territory right now. I feel like I would not see you. Yeah, when you, when you cross the gate, it's, it's like Hellgate condominiums. Hellgate, or, yeah. yeah right. like crossing into That's the enemy territory. Specifically for snowboarders. Yeah. This is sick. Can't believe how much snow is up here. Yeah. Hopefully more higher up. Yeah. We'll, we'll look at it when we get there. Okay. Cool. Yeah, because I, uh, it definitely looked like it was, this is a whole different beast. Guys, I'm back yeah. on the Super 8 today and I'm really hyped about it. Haven't ridden this board in probably four months, maybe more. Um, been riding just the process. But since it's a little bit more snow and groomed trails, right? You said they've been yeah. grooming up here. Mm -hmm. Might as well break out the Super 8. Let the journey begin, guys. Nick, you're missing out. Nick couldn't make it up here today. So it's just the three of us, but. 
This is sick already. <laughs> To the lion's den. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this looks steep. Yeah, it's a steep one. It's gonna be a steep one, guys. We're gonna be working for these turns today. I'm ready though. This feels great. Yeah, feels so good. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit envious of this one here. She is gonna leave us in the dust. This guy here's got the right idea. The next setup we gotta get, man. Seriously, it's just little pieces at a time. Yeah, that's a big piece, though. <laughs> Christmas came early, guys. Yeah! <laughs> Legend right there. Beautiful up here. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you guys could tell, but this is getting steep. <laughs> poles are a must. I don't know how Trace is doing it without poles. I got these poles for five bucks at a lost and found sale. They're not the best, but they're a lifesaver. Highly recommend them if you're doing any hiking. And it's kind of a cheap investment compared to a split board or anything like that. <sighs> I'm dead! Ah, the boat's still up here. I don't know if you guys can hear us. Woo! We made it to the top. Wow. It's pretty sick up here, I gotta say. I wish I could ride the chair this up once season opens up here. That was one of the biggest hikes I've ever done for some turns, guys, but so worth it. I'm so glad we've been hiking early season. It was tiring, but I'm totally conditioned for it. And now we've got some amazing riding ahead of us. Let's drop in.
Good job. Yes. And look at this blue sky coming out a little bit. Right? Yeah, Gorgeous. Yeah. May not work tomorrow. Ah. <laughs> one and done, guys, but so good for one run. It's by far the best turns yet this year. No bird in all its glory soon. Yeah, can't wait for the bird to open. Yeah, Definitely. Right. Awesome. There. Yeah, man. Not yet. <laughs> no, not yet. He hasn't offered. Unofficially, job. Chase doesn't have a job at the bird yet, but he's he's like he ninety percent we'll there. Yeah, he said we'll go forward with the application process about five or six times. So. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Sounds good to me. <laughs> yep. God bless George. Man, that was really fun, you guys. It was fun, but now I'm angry at both of you because yeah. now I want to ride Alta all the time. <laughs> I gotta it's say, so I got the taste of it. Now I want more. It's sick. It's yeah. Snowbird. It's just like Snowbird. more of Snowbird. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so cool. All right, all right guys. Yeah. We'll do it again. Good times. We should. Yeah. Thanks again. Guys, I think I'm hooked on hiking out. <laughs> that was so sick. Wow. Uh, it's like a whole nother snowbird, which is good, but it reminds me a lot of snowbird. It's just like if snowbird had more terrain and different trails. Trace has an app on his phone that tracks um, our hiking elevation and all that stuff. And he said, we got to 18,000 feet of vertical today. <laughs> That's basically the top of Hidden Peak at Snowbird. So that was a pretty epic hike. He said we covered a mile in distance hiking, which is pretty legit. And I gotta say, for all that hiking, I'm not exhausted, which is really cool. So if I had a split board set up, man. So that's the goal for the future. I don't know if it'll be anytime soon. Maybe end of this season, maybe something to save up for over the summer but split board would be so, so sick. And I totally get it now. I totally see the appeal of it because even just hiking up, boot packing it was amazing. And let's talk about the snow, guys. It's still pre-season, but that was the best snow and the best turns we've had yet this year, definitely. They're making snow up top and there is easily six, seven inches they've had in the past 24 hours, and it's supposed to keep snowing. In fact, by the time this video goes up, there's gonna have been a lot more snow. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed something a little different. I sure as heck did. This was like one of my favorite days riding, and it was just one run. I'm definitely gonna go back to Alta. Once the season starts and they're officially open, it's gonna be interesting going up there as a snowboarder i'll say but i'm gonna be back at alta one way or another it really is childish that they don't allow snowboarding what are you gonna do it's nice to have friends who are skiers who agree and are cool and even while we were hiking up there there was an alta employee who was skiing down and he was like yeah alta snowboard team so there's support there i ran into another employee at the top who had an Alta jacket on and he said that he snowboards and he wanted to strap on his snowboard setting up stuff and he said he got shut down so I don't know maybe things will change somewhere down the road but not anytime soon until next time guys as I said I hope you have an awesome Thanksgiving I am so grateful to each and every one of you watching you guys mean the world to me and I hope you're pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone. Hope you're progressing in whatever you're doing. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.